Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this video, I'm going to tell you seven settings which you need to change in your Mac right now because these settings are related to your privacy and security. We are going to start the video, but before that, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. So the first setting is for Apple ID. Make sure two-factor authentication is enabled in your Mac. And for that, go to system settings, uh, which you can find in dock or else go and select Apple logo and then select system settings. Now, once you open system settings, select your Apple account or Apple ID, select sign in and security option and make sure uh, on this particular page, two factor authentication is turned on. If it's turned off, just turn it on, use your mobile number. And once it is enabled, what it will do is uh, whenever you try to sign in in your account or on a new device or let's say on web, you will need both your password. One is your Apple ID password and another one is one time password. So for additional security, make sure two factor authentication is on. So the next setting is also for Apple ID. Now currently you can see if I go to system settings and if I go to uh, my Apple ID over here and if I go down, you can see I get an option of sign out over here. So suppose if my Mac is stolen and the person who has stolen my Mac might be knowing password, we cannot say that exactly, but to prevent that thing or to prevent my Apple ID from getting signed out from my Mac, I can simply lock my Apple ID access. And to do that, all you have to do is just simply, uh, you know, uh, go to system settings, go down, select screen time over here. And in screen time, you get multiple options over here. So all you have to do is you just have to go down and look for restriction, select content and privacy over here and turn it on. Now, once you turn it on, you get multiple options over here in that go to preference restrictions. And uh, once you get this pop up uh, screen, make sure allow account changes is turned off. Once you turn it off, select done. And this time, if I try to uh, go to my Apple account or let's say my Apple ID within few seconds, it will be locked. Now you can see if I go down, I'm not getting an option to sign out. So if I even close system settings and if I go back to system settings, you can see I won't be able to sign out my Apple ID. So yeah. Uh, that's a good security setting you should definitely try so next is firewall setting if you want to protect your mac from unwanted contact initiated by other computers let's say whenever you're connected to internet or any other network then you should enable firewall or you should turn it on so for that again you need to go to system settings and this time you need to select network option over here currently you can see firewall is inactive select that option and turn it on if you get a pop-up screen like this which says touch ID or uh, enter your password to allow this to make the changes, make sure you enter the password or you can use touch ID. Now, once the toggle is on, uh, it will basically protect uh, any uh, unauthorized uh, application program and services from accepting incoming connections. Now, the next setting is for additional security of your MacBook's hard drive. And for that, again, we need to go to system settings. In system settings, uh, we need to go down and look for privacy and security. Select that option and again, go down and look for file vault. Make sure file vault is turned on. Now, uh, if in case file vault is off and if your Mac is stolen, anyone can access data present on your hard drive. So in order to uh, you know protect it, you just have to make sure it is turned on. And from next time onwards, if anyone uh, try to uh, steal your Mac or if it is stolen and anyone tries to access your data, which is present on your MacBook's hard drive, then they will need a login password or a recovery key to access that data. So yeah, for additional security, uh, make sure file vault is turned on. Now the next setting is for your privacy. Uh, if you don't want any application to track your location or if you don't want any app to have your location access, then simply go to system settings, go to privacy and security, go to location services over here. And over here, you will uh, get a list of applications which might uh, need your location access. Now for some application, I have kept it on and for some application, you can see I have turned it off. Uh, make sure find my has location access because if in case your Mac is stolen, you will be able to track uh, your Mac from find my. So if it is kept off, you won't be able to uh, track your Mac. So make sure uh, the toggle is on for find my. For rest of the application, you can review it and you can decide it for yourself that particular application really needs location access or not. Apart from location, there is uh, additional settings which you can do on this particular page. You just have to go back, make sure you're on privacy and security. And if you go down, we'll get an option of camera. Again, over here, you can decide for which application uh, you really need to give camera access and for which application you don't need to give the access. 
if you don't want to give camera access for any browser you can turn it off like this and yeah if you want to turn it on just make sure the toggle is on apart from camera now there is one more setting which is microphone again uh, over here uh, you will get a list of applications which can access your microphone so yeah you need to decide which application really needs mic access and which application does not need it now the next setting is for browser if you are using safari browser just open safari and make sure you do this setting once you open safari select safari option on the menu bar and then select settings go to privacy and make sure prevent cross site tracking is turned on also uh, look for hide ip address from trackers if it is turned off turn it on now what it will do is it will hide your ip address from known trackers so make sure you turn on this two settings now the next setting is for lock screen now if you think uh, whenever you put down your macbook screen your uh, mac is locked then you're wrong you just need to do that setting first and for that go to system settings once you go to system settings go down and look for lock screen now after selecting lock screen make sure this particular option is set to immediately now what it will do is whenever you turn off your display or screen saver begins it will uh, lock that uh, user profile and if someone tries to access that profile they need to enter the password so yeah for additional security make sure uh, this option is set to immediately so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video guys i hope this video was helpful if it was then don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you